So if, if I had to give some advice to a, a young, young instrumentalist, um, I would probably just tell them to remember the whole time through the process of learning how to play your instrument and practicing and performing and getting better, just remember that what you've chosen to do for a living is a really, really special thing. The fact that you could decide to make art, to make music for your entire life is really special and a really rare gift. So if you have that gift and it's what you've decided to do, then just recognizing that, remembering that when things maybe aren't going your way, I think is really helpful. I started playing the drums. I was playing the drum set uh, maybe in second or third grade. So uh, some of my earliest memories are, you know, it sounds kind of cliche, but literally sitting on the kitchen floor, on the kitchen floor playing on pots and pans. That, that was me and my parents got me a drum set. Um, but in terms of when I actually decided that that was going to be my life, um, when I was at the end of high school, last couple years of high school, I auditioned for and was accepted to the pre-college program at Juilliard here in the city. Um, and I kind of just auditioned on a whim. I was not really serious about music before then, but then I got there and I sort of saw all these other amazing young people who were much better than me <laughs> and working a lot harder than me. And I just really felt like I, I belonged with that community of people. I think that, that was the moment. You know, up until very recently, I had never considered not living in this area. I, I grew up about an hour out of the city, and I went to school around here, in grad school at least, so I'm used to, used to New York, and I like living here. But I got the opportunity this fall, I spent a, a, few, a few trips actually in Southern California, in Santa Monica, in Carlsbad, San Diego, LA, places like this. And especially now that the weather's getting colder, I, I think maybe someday I could see myself living somewhere where the weather doesn't change all year. That would be nice, I think. So I, I live in Crown Heights in Brooklyn. I've lived there for a couple years. And there's this little wonderful Mexican restaurant called Chavela's um, that I love going to for brunch on a weekday. They have these great brunch specials on the weekend, but on the weekday, it's like the same menu but half price. It's really great. And there's no one ever in there because everyone's at work. Um, it's a really nice, special little hole in the wall kind of place. Well, that, that is tough. I feel like every time I, I do something at CMS, it, it's another favorite memory. But I think one that I'll never forget, for sure, is the first time I played at Alice Tully Hall. Um, it was last November. It was a, we were playing a Bruce Adolph piece, C CMS's own Bruce Adolph for two cello, uh, one cello and two percussion. And I don't think it had really sunk into me, like with all the rehearsals and even the dress rehearsal, that like this was my first real CMS concert, first time playing at the new Alice Tully Hall. And then we were standing backstage, about to go on stage, and uh, Tara O'Connor, the flute player, was standing next to me, and she was like, wait a minute, isn't this your first CMS concert? And I was telling her, I was like, oh my god, it is. I got really nervous. But I think that that's something I'll never forget, just walking out on that beautiful stage and seeing this wonderfully supportive audience. That, that was really special. Mm -hmm. 